hello friends today i'm going to show you how to configure customer managed key for azure sql server okay and uh, what is exactly tde is uh, tde stands for transparent data encryption what are the backups we have that our backups cannot be restored in another sql server without having keys this is the i mean we are protecting the backups with the, our CUDA keys like extra password now i am going to show you how to configure all this uh, go to overview and click on security here we have trans service managed key here we uh, when we click on transparent data encryption we have two options one is managed by azure one is managed by customer and we call it a, we can also call it as this customer managed key as a byok customer being your own key okay uh, I'm, now i am selecting customer managed key and uh, that we, we need to create one key vault click on key vault name anything harsha key vault i am naming mine with my name okay uh, my subscription name there oh, yes, okay uh, yeah, i'm uh, with the thumb rule is wherever the sql server is hosted the say and which the invert in which same location only the keyword has to be stored has to be created and okay and remaining all the leave the all the values as defaults and click create yes deployment got successful i click ok go to resources yes key vault got uh, created successfully go to home and click on new private sql sql server and click on security here and go to transfer and encryption and customer manage key Ch change key vault still the key vault is not there why just refresh the browser like say that uh, location is same or not east to us east to us yeah okay click on that change keyword yeah you need to select the keyword here click on change key here it will list what are the keys that are available in keyword this is newly created right so that's why we are, don't have any keys right now i'm uh, click on new create key so here we have the three options if the key is already available with you like import you can import and reload you can register with the backup okay right now i don't have any keys uh, previous keys that's why i'm taking name as a i'm giving one name and it is going to encrypt in this in these two formats okay right now i'm going with the rsa token only with the default size if you want to set activation and the expiration you can click that and you can select the date and all this right now i'm not i'm going with the default values go click create so whenever you create the key will get created here whenever uh, uh, select a key and recovery, it will going to select all the i mean uh, uh, total value but when it is uh, this is the main key here we can see the here okay bo uh, both are same here the here it is selecting only key main key value here it is selecting to enter url that is a different click on save yeah now the resource provider key vault has been configured with so should be configured with corner okay now i am taking uh, i am taking this was a duplicate tab type here key vault key vault click on key vault click on props properties here enable soft delete click save okay save here again
yeah we successfully configured customer managed key for azure sql server let's check whether our configuration is when successful or not how to check that let's see here uh, in my sql server i have one database name called text here okay in the in the database level we can configure security in the database level we can and we can only we have option turn off turn on other sheet only right now the database level by default uh, td is enabled on, on all data database encryptions and server level also with service managed key if you don't like for particular database for data encryption you can click on turn off okay right now i'm going with the default i'm on i need off only on only okay now when you click on re copy restore here it is taking backup and it is going to restore into the secondary server now i'm i'm selecting I'm, i want to copy this database to another server okay click on that click on that select the sql server and select that uh, database storage and all this click new create and click create Yeah. So you, if the deployment has to be failed, why? Because the we are we are using customer managed key in one server. In SQL in private SQL server, we are using here service managed key. So both will get different, right? Differ, right? So that why this config uh, this has to be failed. Let's see what the error message it prompts. see here when you click on the error message here deployment got failed right see here the server identity is not correctly configured on server private sql server means it is clearly saying that code is azure key vault no server identity right how come to sql server this sql server also is hosting on is to us2 if it is not hosted on see is to us2 then you have to create a, another key vault in this region and that in this region and you have to take the backup from the primary server um, uh, primary server of key vault and you have to restore it in this server then only the copy operation will go successful right now both are in same sql server both in same location that's why no need to create an extra vault for that here come to here customer click on customer managed key change key vault here select the same key vault change key harsh selected can click okay once the configuration got settings got saved now the copy operation will get successful see here up to now i don't have any databases databases here okay yeah this one got successful all configuration now click refresh go back click on private sql server click on sql databases click on text here click on copy now select the secondary sql server select the service tier and all this right now i have only one table with one record so that's why i'm even it is in vco2 and it, this basic is enough okay click create click create and the deployment will get successful the main reason is same we are using same key vaults that's why the obviously the deployment will the, the the database will get copied from one sql server to another sql server let's see that either the deployment will got fail or success
see here the deployment got successful now go to the sql server and just refresh that yeah here you can see the database now so th this so clearly shows that how to uh, what are the con we configured uh, tde that got correct and went successful i hope you like this video thank you bye bye